Based on the old playground game Pitch and Toss, two Northeast organisations have joined forces to jump on the Apple app craze. Northern Film and Media, along with creative design agency Darling Dash, have brought new age fun with a vintage feel to people of all ages through the launch of a recent app for the Apple iPad. B Daily spoke to those behind the project to find out more about the funding and the possible business opportunities within this growing industry. Darling Dash is a creative agency based in Newcastle upon Tyne. Uh, been going since the start of 2010, already working with some quite interesting clients, national, international, and just recently launched the iPad application Pitch and Toss. I read the brief that NFM put out. They were very clear on that the idea had to work for iPad, and so it had to use the screen dimensions and use the different size. A concept like Pitch and Toss wouldn't work as well on an iPhone because you haven't got the depth of field, you haven't got as much screen size. So the idea of throwing a coin against a wall you can achieve a lot more interesting things within the environment. So you can bring objects in, you can bring cannons, you can bring flippers, you can bring more of a game puzzle environment to it. And the idea of, of incorporating pitch and tosses, with it being an old, an old school game, it's a game that you know, we used to play as kids and a lot of the, well, all of those kids grow up and a lot of those kids now have got iPads and, and they commute to work and, and they use that platform. So it's kind of a universal concept, throwing a coin towards a wall isn't an original idea but we've tried to develop that concept to make it interesting and make it developed and use the iPad to help us kind of express that. In January this year, we created the iPad Fund and this was about 12 hours after the launch of the device. And the whole reason behind that was you had for the first time in a few years, a new marketplace, this iPad marketplace on the iTunes store. We wanted to find young, new companies, companies that perhaps wouldn't have invested their time and energy in making iPad apps and iPad games uh, if it weren't for a little helping hand. We had a total um, fund that we kind of advertised, if you like, is about £40,000. Uh, there was a point actually where we had combined uh, deals that we were quite keen to pursue that were heading to six figures, uh, in, in quite high six figures. And in the end, some of those just didn't come to fruition. At the end of the day, we've spent a little bit more than 40000 perhaps on iPad and iPhone apps and related media that comes in around them over the past year. In uh, Darling Dash, we, uh, and Pitch and Toss in a, as a particular app, we invested £5,000. It seems very small fry compared to the kinds of sums that NFM normally invests in, say, television or film. But in this particular market, you need to spend as little as you possibly can in order to get as good a result as you possibly can. And we felt that was about the right kind of balance for a new unproven talent, perhaps. The funding actually allowed us to, to develop the project, which was key. You know, before that, it was an idea. Uh, whether or not we would have got Pitch and Toss off the ground without the, the assistance from NFM and the funding, you know, probably wouldn't have been able to do that this year without their help. Uh, the majority of the funding has gone into producing the product to, to make it as best as it could be. So that's gone into programming, that's gone into art, and that's gone into music. Mobile is absolutely the place where digital media is, is headed. Uh, and much of it is there already. You only have about 1.3, 1.4 billion people on the planet who are sat in front of a traditional uh, laptop or desktop computer accessing the web. You have somewhere like four and a half billion mobile devices, many of which are internet enabled and m increasing numbers of which are app enabled. And so that's really a core area where, regardless of whether you're making feature films or whether you're making uh, digital only ideas, you have to be. And for that, we've managed to um, give a, a leg up to the North East that very few other regions in the UK have had. I think the reality of it is that it, it's a very competitive market to be in because you are competing with some big games publishers, some big brands who will have a budget outside of an independent developer to do things like market and advertise an app once it's in, once it's in the store. Essentially, getting the app in the store is very much the first stage. And like with anything, like with a big shopping centre, if you've got a shop in that shopping centre, people have got to know about it and know what product you sell in there. So I don't think it's necessarily a golden goose in that you produce an app and it's Ferrari time. I think it's more a case of concentrate on making the product as best as you can. And when the product's ready and it's live and it doesn't break down, and work really, really hard in getting as many people to know, the, know about the app, to download it, to talk about it, and then that might lead to some, to some success, hopefully. This fund isn't about creating lots of apps that all generate huge amounts of profit. 
because frankly, the chances of that happening, uh, given the figures, um, are, are weak. There's been $4 billion invested in apps, uh, in iPhone and iPad apps in the last period of time, last few years, and only half a billion pounds of revenues. So to expect that to be paying the way, that's not what we're about. What we have managed to do is create scores of jobs, safeguard scores of jobs. Um, we've managed to uh, create jobs in places where they just wouldn't have been created before. And for a company like Darling Dash, we've been able to open up a new market to them. They are now iPad developers. They can create iPhone and iPad apps for any commercial client, and that's very much the road down which they're going to be heading.